week on America's Got Pool, we're going to dive into the world of billiards. Many of us 8-ball, 9-ball, and 10-ball players have not even played a game of billiards before. Billiards is a game that can improve your stroke, knowledge of banks, kicks, as well as timing. There are three balls, the white, yellow, and red. Once you choose your ball, that is considered your cue ball. After the game starts, your cue ball is played where it lies and it is not repositioned. The object is to hit three cushions on the table and contact both of the other balls in one stroke. This is called a short rail kick and is one of the common shots in billiards. There are many other ways to go three cushions, some are more frequent than others. This game requires knowledge of the diamonds, rails, and using extreme English in order to gain a point by hitting three rails and both of the object balls in one stroke. Next is to choose what amount of points you're going to be racing to. Now that we have some basics on what to do in billiards, I want to introduce one of the best billiard players in the world that is going to teach us some of these shots. Mason Chuni owns Amazing Billiards in Malden, Massachusetts. He is not only a world champion billiard player, but also gives much of his time to instruction in helping others in our sport. He has over 90 USBA Tour wins. He currently runs charity events, leagues, and tournaments as well. We are going to learn some important lessons from him in billiards but I will be able to show you the easiest way to make what we call a short angle. This is where we learn about the short angles that we've seen at the beginning of the show. Right now, Mason is giving these lessons at the USBA Championship. This is a simple math. There is nothing to calculate. So at the short angle, you play one, two, three off the red ball. This ball is in the first diamond. You always use one tip of English and always at a half a ball. So there is no adjustment to be made. As long as you know how to hit this half a ball with one tip of English. Now the ball moves to the second diamond, it goes up to two tips of English, which is two o'clock. Okay? So to give you an example, half a ball hit, you should be able to make it every time. See the first diamond? Uh, the mic is on. Uh, same thing goes on to the second diamond and the third diamond. Those are simple short angles. Something else that I would like to share which is the most uh, unrecognizable unrecon shots with the easiest solution. There's a few of them that people overlook and I have a few to share with you guys, okay? <coughs> well first, let me go up with one <coughs> with this side of the table. This shot here, the red ball here, Yellow is here, and I am here. This shot looks terrible, huh? But most players will play off the yellow, coming around. It's a very small ball to make it in the corner. Where well, the easiest solution will be off the red ball, one, two, three. Doesn't require a big stroke. Strictly an, high, an up through stroke, which is high ball. And not so heavy, not so fast. Okay? When you put right hand English on this ball, this one has left hand English, so it gets out of the way, no kiss. Okay. That was a short rail kick, and now we're going to see some more longer rail kicks from Mason. This ball is here. Normally, you play off the red ball around the table, but it's frozen, huh? So you always get that double kiss. You don't want to risk that. So instead, you can play cushion first, red ball, and you have plenty of room here in the corner, two cushions, okay? And it requires just a nice follow-through, normal English. Very easy solution. Uh, there's a few other solutions that are really nice on the table. Someone, what they call, they play you safe and they leave you here on this side of the table. You have almost nothing. The bank is not even good because the balls are not like this. The balls are like this. But the easiest solution would be you play with left hand English. Pretend there's no red ball there, you miss it. This cushion, this cushion, and make the two balls, huh? Very easy, yeah. Uh, easier solution. Those are good stuff. Um, one of the things Mason shows us is that you can use the first object ball to get to three cushions before your ball hits the last object ball. Thing, huh? Normally, if the ball is like this, normally I can play off the red ball, one, two, three. If the ball is like this, it's not there. I don't have enough cushion to work with. 
So now maybe I can play this cushion and make the same shot of the red. This way like that. It's not so easy, but it's very makeable. And it's also a high ball with normal English. Yeah. Nice. So, <laughs> it's a very good solution. Um, some, um, some interesting shots. Where you have, uh, we have a tiki like this. We call it a normal tiki, which is cushion first. You go behind the yellow, two more cushions. Okay, some shot. Anybody can make. Okay, now I'm gonna go over some, a beautiful system. Are you guys interested in a system? Really nice one. It's two, one, two systems in one, okay? It's really interesting. Many times you get this position, of course. You're here, you can bank three cushions. Right? If you're here, system doesn't work for you. So you have to use this one, short cushion, long cushion, short cushion. Okay? I have a sheet here that I brought with me. And I have many copies you guys want to share. This, is, this, this system does not require any adjustment at, at any table. So it works at any table. But of course, if I show you a system, it won't be mine anymore, it'll be yours. Because you have a different stroke, different hits, different English. Uh, and it takes practice, you know. So the system, the way it starts, there's three different numbers. I have hundreds of copies to give you guys. Three different numbers to remember. The scoring numbers, they start from here. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Okay, zero, two, four, six, eight, simple. These numbers are what we call the old Willy Hoppy numbers, which are the corner, we always use five back in the day. Today we use 50. This is five, four and a half, four, three and a half, three, two and a half, two. Correct? We use those numbers for this particular system, okay? Because it works. And those numbers are what they call a tenth number, from zero to 10. Zero to one diamond is 10 tenths of a diamond, because each diamond is one inch all the way across. Okay, so you got 10, 20, 30. This corner has more than just 40. Okay, that has 42 and 44, a little bit tricky. So now this is two, and we know what these numbers are, and we know what these numbers are, simple math. So this is two, and this one is two. Two times two is four. We're gonna shoot four tenths of a diamond with English, with normal English, not maximum, not curving, normal English, okay? And it's a good position shot because you are moving the ball right up front. <coughs> Yeah. When playing billiards just like pool, it is important to remember to try to keep your ball towards the center of the table. This gives you optimal range for any shot you need to hit. A better position. When you play three cushion off the red ball, normally all you're thinking about is making a billiard. But this red ball comes here, sometimes stops here, and you're in a really bad position again. It's better to, to hit it a little fuller and drive it to this cushion first then at least the ball comes in the middle of the table and you always have a pretty decent shot, okay? So you have to trust it and of course, uh, of course practice it. You see how the ball's coming back again? It's a good way of playing, <coughs> playing for uh, position. Now, you had a trunk. Yeah. Well, that one is clear. <coughs> As a beginner in billiards, I have learned with first-hand experience that my pocket billiard game has gone up substantially by learning how to play three cushions. Practicing using the very edge of the ball and using the entire ball for position gives a new perspective on patent play. When you play cushion first, this is your ball. Cushion first, red ball, three cushions. You know, most players really hoping to get a good hand on the red ball, huh? And it's, it's not so easy, but I found a way to hit the ball better. So let's pretend this ball is here. And I need to hit the ball extremely thin to make this billiard. Forget about the real first shot. Now I'm going back to this. So I have to hit it paper thin to make the billiard. You see what I meant? 
like this. Okay? So if I hit the ball thin like this, let's forget about this for a minute. Okay? I make it. Now, if I move this ball here on the rail, and I'm here, I'm going to aim for the same exact thin head that I had earlier. Except the cushion is in the way. So you're never going to hit the ball. That's the best way to aim for cushion first. And you always get the same amount of ball. Now, you're going to ask me, what do you put on the ball? So this first diamond, you play with no English. And every half a diamond, you add one tip of reverse for every half a diamond. Okay, so this is no English, one tip of reverse, two tips of reverse. Okay, you can even make it from here. Can you show us? Yeah, of course. <coughs> you put a lot of pressure on me, Tom. This one is no English. No, I'm not feathering at all. No, no, I mean, I'm just, back, you're aiming at the back. I'm aiming to the back side of the red ball, correct. Like yeah, but I'm going to hit good amount of ball. Because yeah. the cushion is in the way. Yeah. You know, it, you always hit that kind of ball, you see. Um, if I move half here, I can put a little bit of reverse, which is, almost, I, I would say a tip. You know, but not too heavy, huh? And every time you increase uh, reverse, you have to increase a little bit of speed because the ball has a tendency to stop. You know what I mean? That's good. Uh, and, and it looks like it's not really possible, but it's it's a uh, it's very good way to aim. That, and it goes. The red ball anywhere up and down that. I mean, what good is question. The good question. I was going to get to that. Yeah. So. <laughs> So for every time it moves here, and you are here, you increase by half a tip now, what was for that every diamond. We couldn't hear it. What did you just say? He asked me, the ball originally was in the second diamond, and moved to the third diamond. Okay. Okay, and it's in the same spot. And the second diamond was with no English. Now move to the third diamond is a little difficult. So the, first, the initial no English there is based on no English. On the second diamond. And as you move this way, what do you do? Half a tip. For every diamond, yes. Reverse? Reverse, Reverse correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but not too heavy. <laughs> so. uh, but also, you can still make it with no English if, if you play with feel, you know? So it's with feel. But if you use in the method that I'm using, I think it's something really good. This one? Are you testing? I'm All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really a good, good way to play. I currently play at Amazing Billiards in Malden and got a chance to learn a few of the billiard shots from Mason himself. Currently, Amazing Billiards is one of the only pool halls in New England with four beautiful billiard tables as well as a snooker table. I'm still a beginner, but let's see how things went. This is Stacey Tonkin here at Amazing Billiards with Mason Shuni, the former national champion for billiards, and he's going to show us some great shots today as well as some key tricks to doing billiards. So for people watching, what we're doing is you get to choose whether you're the orange ball or the white ball. If you're the orange ball, obviously. The yellow ball. I'm sorry. The yellow ball or the white ball? I'm still learning billiards, that's what it's all about. So, if you're the yellow ball, you're going to try to go three rounds yeah. on the table and you're going to try to hit both balls. You have to make sure you hit three cushions every time. So what we're doing here is we're going to hit three clock on the yellow ball and try to go three rounds around the table and hit the white ball. And you can move the shot so many ways. That's a perfect shot just for anyone who's interested. <laughs> Look at this and we're going to hit it with three o'clock and we're going to try to go three rounds. Half a ball, no attempt. Half a ball. Perfect. <laughs> Being able to practice these shots gives me confidence in my all-around game. They definitely were not easy and challenged me to want to work on my stroke to make it much smoother. Although billiards is not my main focus, I feel learning more about games such as billiards and snooker are a pathway to my success in pocket billiards. Let's check out a few more shots. show you some, some little tricky shots that people don't see and, and they're very, very easy to make. Okay. Okay. So we're going to shoot a shot, what we call a cushion first. And they named the ticky a while back. Why, I don't know. But the shot is really cushion first, 
you hit the red ball, mm -hmm. your ball is going to go back to the cushion, that's two. You're going to need an additional cushion here, which is three. Okay. But because of the English, you don't have to worry that's going to kiss the okay. white immediately. Okay. okay. And you hit it with such a delicate speed, okay? So okay. I'm going to demonstrate, you will sure. see. I shoot it slow so you can see it, okay? Oh, okay. Three cushions, okay? Yes. So, go ahead. So, go Perfect. Fantastic. Every shot I have shot so far, stays in May. Some of the shots that we practiced, including the double kiss and the red ball, was difficult and required a lot of stroke and follow through. Looking at these types of shots helped me to think outside the box when I need it when playing pocket billiards. This shot may not come up often in any other game, but expanding your knowledge of how the cue ball reacts can be important. I hope this encourages more players to learn about the different aspects of pool and billiards. When you can practice your stroke and stance in different games, it will bring your game to another level. I would like to thank Mason as well as all of the spectators, sponsors, and viewers. Tune in for more episodes of America's Got Pool. This is the channel where you find everything billiards.